all right youtube this is your boy the virus system and here we are today to do the chiri chiri chara chara and then today we learn how to install lara classified and um, i had this information yesterday as a comment on one of my videos that i should um, do a tutorial on how to install lara classified and then today um before i leave for work i just wanted to um drop this tutorial for you before i go to work so um i've already um extracted um lara classified onto my server level here which i have it here and i've already created a database with the same name so now here we are just supposed to start with the installation um yesterday we learned how to install um another application starting from scratch so um, if you don't know how to move an application to your server level and to create a database please kindly refer to that tutorial i posted yesterday and then that one starts from the scratch to the end but today I've decided to extract the application onto a folder and then also create a database so that we will not waste time because I don't have time, I have to prepare and go to work. So um, I'll open a new tab here, then we start with our installation process. So localhost, then the name of my folder, which is Lara Classified, then I hit on the enter key to begin with the installation process. By telling me that it requires PHP version 7.1. So I'm going to switch my PHP to um, version 7. And then I'll be back with some some few minutes time. All right. So we welcome back from that. Um, now I've switched to PHP 7.2. Let's hit on the enter key to see whether our installation will begin or not. So um, let's give it some few seconds, and it comes back with an error message as page 404. Now what is happening is that um, Laravel always starts from um, um, a public folder. So that means that we are supposed to switch our application. To our public folder now when you look at um lara classified folder um you see that we have a public folder there and that is where all laravel application always begins from so i'm going to switch from um this by adding public folder to it and then we start with an installation process so let's give it some few seconds to load all right and here we are with our installation process um we are supposed to fill some few forms for us to be able to start with our installation so we have side name which is going to be um the virus systems i have slogan which is um it at its best um, it at its best sorry why then name which is um uriah avenash and then we have email address uh, email address email address email address email address um, yes email address password and then uh, we have um country which is Ghana and purchase code um, I'm going to um, switch off this purchase code so that you might not see the purchase code I'm so now everything seems to look good for now so let's hit on the next button key to go next and here we are required to enter our database details so my host name is going to be localhost and then my username to my database is avanash and then my password is this and then we have um my database name which is what lara classified so i'll paste it here table prefix i'm going to leave it empty because i don't want my table to have prefix on it and then um the socket is also optional so i'll hit on the save button to move to next all right so now here we are supposed to hit on what the setup database to install what the database table into what our database we have created in PHP my admin so i hit on setup database and then we'll give you some few seconds and then when it is done then we'll continue with our installation all right so chrome job is not set yet so don't worry about um chrome job because this local host um if it is online um we can fix that too we hit on the finish button here to finish with our installation and then we are done installing lara classified so here we are congratulations you have successfully installed lara classified lara classified ad web application and so forth and so on so now to visit um, the admin page you hit on this button 
and it also visit at the front end you hit on this button to do that so i right click and then open with a new tab and then hit this and then it also opens um, on a new tab so we have our application installed and then we are good to go so it's saying that um internal server error um that is not a problem um refresh your page and then um you are good to go with your application um it's just simple as that so don't worry about this error message you are seeing just refresh your page and then your application begins to run for you so now let's log into um our email address um sorry our admin panel by using the email address that we we um we provided